oh, all of the little tips that we're going to give you um, all together and combined you can start increasing your system throughput by uh, 30 40 even 50 percent in some cases um, obviously incoming mail is where we like to tweak it the most because that's where the bulk of the load is uh, uh, used for the system um, so we'll go ahead and we will fill the dependency so that we can start compiling our spam assassin rules and as I said before I'm gonna use the Fedora um, extra uh, packages to do this and to do that we're gonna do rpm dash uvh this link will also be in the show notes for subscribers and we're using slash i386 because once again this is a 32-bit server um, they do have packages for 64-bit servers and for other versions of CentOS uh, if you're running something like uh, Fedora itself or Mandriva or OpenSUSE uh, chances are good this package uh, is probably in your repositories already so you would just have to uh, do a yum install RE2C to get it um, so let's go ahead and get ours finished installing here All right, hopefully I didn't hit too many bad characters there, and this ought to install cleanly. And there we go. We now have RE2C installed. Now, the, compiling the Spam Assassin rules is actually a real easy process. Um, one of the uh, things you're going to need to do, especially if you're running like the QML Toaster Plus package and you're using SA Update and uh, downloading additional spam assassin rules is you are going to need to um, run the uh, SA compile command on a regular basis. Uh, if you don't, uh, we're going to configure, well, we're going to be configuring spam assassin to use the compiled rules. And it's only going to use the compiled rules. So if you add extra rules and you don't compile them, spam assassin is not going to use them until you actually do. Um, let's see. Just trying to get into some of my other code back here. Uh, so, you, as I was saying before, you're really going to want to make sure that you actually, uh, when you update your rules, run the re2c command again, uh, just so that you can uh, get that those rules compiled and up and running into your uh, spam assassin rule set as quickly as possible. Okay, so now that we've got that installed, uh, to compile the rules is actually really easy. Uh, we just do sa-compile. And it will run through. This will take a couple seconds. You'll probably see an error there for the uh, domain keys. That's okay. You can pretty much ignore that one. As it runs through here, it's looking at all of our rules and um, getting them all compiled into native code. Now that it is all done, um, our rules are now all compiled. And once again, if you update a rule, you're going to need to run that command again just to get those uh, rules compiled back in. Now we need to actually tell Spam Assassin to use the compiled rules. So we're going to cd into slash etsy slash mail slash Spam Assassin. And we'll get a directory listing there. And the file we're going to need to edit is the v320.pre file. And these are the configuration uh, directives for uh, Spam Assassin version 3.2 and on. And we're going to need to scroll on down here and we need to edit the one that says rule 2xs body now normally this uh, command directive is commented out uh, so you'll see a little hash sign in there or number sign uh, and that means that that's a comment you need to remove the comment from this particular uh, directive uh, to tell spam assassin to use the compiled native code 
Now that we've done that, we will go ahead and we will save and close. Now one of the things that uh, is a really good idea, whenever you make a uh, configuration change or add extra rules to Spam Assassin or pretty much mess with Spam Assassin in general, uh, it's always a good idea to run Spam Assassin dash dash lint. Uh, and what this does is this actually, uh, they call it delinting. Um, it will run through and check and see if there's any errors in here. And you can see that it's failing on the uh, mail domain keys. Um, and to get more information on that, you can do spam as fasten uh, dash capital D dash dash lint. And this will give you actual debug of uh, everything that it's running through and what errors it may have hit. Now that we have our rules um, compiled, we're not going to worry about the domain keys one at this particular point, but now that we have our rules compiled and in native code, uh, we've told Spam Assassin to start using them. Now what we actually need to do is we need to restart the Spam Assassin daemon uh, for the QML toaster. Now the easiest way to do this is to install QML Toaster Plus. And if you install QML Toaster Plus, which is located at qtp.qmltoaster.com, uh, that one will be in the show notes as well. Um, the easiest way to restart the Spam Assassin daemon in that, after you install that package, is just by typing in uh, qml spam space restart, and it'll bring down the daemon and then bring it back up for you. Since we do not have that package installed on this particular machine, um, since I don't believe we do, let's just do a quick check. Well, regardless, I'll show you the old manual method of doing it, which is a good thing because we don't have it on here. So we need to use these service commands. So they're svc dash d slash var slash qmail slash supervise slash spam d slash space slash var slash qmail slash supervise uh, slash spam d. Oh, I forgot that d back there slash log and hit enter. Now SVC dash T and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit my up arrow to go back to the previous command and I'll change that dash D to a dash T and enter. And then we're going to do our up arrow again and go back and we're going to change that T to a U. And once again hit enter. Now what that does is that brings down the uh, daemon and then brings it back up. And you can see that by doing QML CTL stat. And here you can see the spam daemon uh, used to have been up for 74,000 seconds. Now it's been brought down and brought back up. So the new time is only 13 seconds that's, that that daemon's been alive. Same thing with the spam D daemon there for the logging. So that restarted our spam assassin daemon. Now the commands I showed you, those are up here. Those are kind of a long way of doing it. Um, Qmail Toaster Plus is a much easier way to doing it. Uh, it runs the same commands for you. Just I put them all into a script where it's easy. It's just uh, Qmail dash spam space restart, and it'll run those commands for you. Uh, makes it a lot easier than having to type all those things out or even remember what those things even are. Uh, so at this point, you should have a um, QML Toaster server now uh, that you have compiled Spam Assassin rules on. And because of this, you're going to increase your throughput for your incoming mail. Um, that throughput will vary depending upon your load and how many rules you have in. Uh, but any throughput uh, gains that you do to your system are always going to be a positive benefit. And that's pretty much it for this video. In uh, one of the next videos, uh, we're going to cover some more tips on how to uh, uh, tune Spam Assassin a little bit and uh, tune some other things in your system and hopefully get you up and running with uh, some uh, uh, pretty professional tweaks that uh, I do for a lot of my clients. And we thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thanks.